everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another chit chat video. This is the August chit chat video. I nearly said September then, but we're definitely still in August. We're in like a transitional phase at the moment, aren't we? I think definitely here in the UK, summer seems to have completely disappeared and we're moving into autumn or fall, as you call it in the US. Um, but I, I'm actually kind of liking it. I really like this time of year where you kind of start to envisage the nice cosy nights, putting on a candle, snuggled up in, you know, just nice snuggly pyjamas and just chilling out in the evenings. I really quite like that. Um, let me know, what have you got on your hook at the moment? Are you thinking about autumn projects or even Christmas projects? Or are you still clinging on to summer with a few summer projects? Let me know what you're doing at the moment. For me, I'm kind of in a limbo at the moment in terms of, well, have I mentioned it on this channel? I think I probably have, but we are moving house. So we have sold this house. We are in the middle of purchasing another one and I'm hoping that we are going to be moving next month. However, we don't have a date yet and that's why I kind of feel in limbo. I'm the kind of person that likes to have in my head what's happening at what time. So not knowing that particular date is kind of messing with me at the moment. It's also my daughter's birthday, uh, early October. And yeah, I just feel like I want to know where we're going to be for that, whether it's going to be in this house, in the other house, whether, whether we're going to need to hire somewhere out or if we can hire somewhere out at the moment it just fe all feels very very strange but I'm just trying to chill out a little bit and yeah just take it as it comes I've also got my book deadline which is looming and in between all of that we're going to be moving and what have you so yeah I just feel a little bit in limbo at the moment but what will be will be just take one day at a time <laughs> So the end of this month also marks the end of Granny Square month. So I don't know if you have seen on my website, it's all been all about Granny Squares this month. If you haven't had a look, then head across to bellacococrochet.com and you'll find a load of blog posts on there all to do with Granny Squares. There's been some new Granny Squares, which you've seen on this channel. And it's just been really fun to celebrate the good old Granny Square. And they're just so versatile, aren't they? I think you can just make so many things with them. And yeah, it's, it's kind of going back to roots for me because I started off doing my very first project with a large Granny Square, uh, which went to my grandma and she still has it to this day as well. So yeah, I do love a granny square. Let, again, let me know in the comments what is, has been your favourite granny square. Either pattern, so what is your favourite style, or what has been your favourite granny square project that you've ever made. Next up, I'm going to talk about my sponsor for this month's video, who is Wool and the Gang. Wool and the Gang are just so amazing. I love, love, love all of their project products. I'm going to get these out because otherwise this paper bag, which I love, by the way, is going to make a lot of noise. So just bear with. OK, so this month, Wool and the Gang sent me some of their Ra Ra Raffia and some of their new shiny Ra Ra Raffia. I think Wool and the Gang have the most amazing names for their yarn. And whenever I say Ra Ra Raffia, in my head, I go a little bit Lady Gaga. Ra Ra Raffia. <laughs> anybody else do that kind of thing because honestly it's the only thing that goes through my mind whenever I say Ra Ra Raffia uh, but this is just absolutely gorgeous these are the shiny ones this one is Rose Shimmer and then this one is Sun Kiss Gold and I think these shiny ones are perfect for you know the festive season which is fast approaching um I think I've just mentioned the Christmas season twice already in this video, but you know, we've got to be prepared for when, when, that, when that comes around. So what I really like about this is it's uh, FSC certified, recyclable and biodegradable. And the packaging is also made from 100% recycled card and paper, which is just lovely, isn't it? I really appreciate when People do think about these things, these companies think about these things. So 
yeah, this is cute. And immediately what came to mind, again, with the festive season coming up, oh, where's it gone? It's fallen. I kind of thought about these, because they're shiny, um, for Christmas, how cute. So this is a star. Um, I would have to probably just block that a little bit, but I just think that's really cute. I think that would make some really nice bunting. And then this is the original uh, Rara Raffia. So this is the Tropez Tan, Tropez Tan. Um, really cute. So this one's matte. And if you head across to my website, there is a gorgeous clutch bag pattern. I'll leave a link in the description box, box below. But there's a gorgeous clutch bag pattern. I had to try and say that. <laughs> clutch bag pattern on my website, which is by the lovely Elizabeth from Desamore Designs. Um, go and check that out because she has used the Rara Raffia. And I think using this along with the shiny would just be absolutely gorgeous. There is also loads of inspiration on um, Instagram as well. If you use the uh, look up the hashtag Rara Raffia, there's so many bags and things. I would love to see um, my sundown market bag being made with this. If I get chance, which I think I'm being overly ambitious because I've got so much on over the next eight weeks, um, I would love to make the sundown market bag using this but if you give it a go make sure that you tag me and also tag wool and the gang um, so that they can see as well but i just love this so thank you wool and the gang for sending me this to try out okay so as i mentioned before i am moving house hopefully next month and this new house has a larger office space yes because this room is actually really really small and honestly if you could see what i could see right now it's just a creative mess that's what it is. I really have to try and um, pack in as much work as I can in such a short space of time when Ella is out the house, either at nursery or out with my mom or something like that. I have to squeeze in so much that I just kind of jump from one thing to the next and it all gets a little bit chaotic. I won't show you because I actually have some super secret things lying around this room, so I can't show you uh, what it looks like, but trust me, it's a mess. <laughs> but I am looking forward to having a slightly larger space and um, a few desks in there so that I can feel a little bit more organized, should we say? <laughs> I also have big plans for Bella Coco and yeah, it's exciting to feel like it's taking that next stage, which is just amazing, really. I think I'll be glad once all the uh, book stuff is sorted. I think that's a huge weight off my mind. I don't have a date to give you yet of when it will be released, but if I, but I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can sign up to my mailing list just for the book, where you'll get notifications and updates of uh, how the book is coming along. So if you want to join that, then the link is under this video. Go and sign up and then you'll be hearing from me hopefully very soon. Okay, so let's talk Crochet Society. So Crochet Society box 15, which is this gorgeous one here, is just going out to subscribers now. Super, super gorgeous. Put it back on there. We actually couldn't open subscriptions for box 16 because basically there is just such high demand at the moment that we just couldn't open it up because we didn't lose very many subscribers and we have to keep a little bit of a buffer. However, I am excited to say that as of the 21st of September, we are opening up subscriptions again because we have ordered more boxes for that box and onwards as well. So if you have been desperate to get your hands on a subscription, which I know a lot of people have been, then um, yeah, just set your alarms for the 21st of September so that you can hopefully get your hands on a box. There is also a waiting list. I'll leave a link in the description box below. If you've already signed up to that list for box 14 and 15, you don't need to sign back up again. You will get an email. But if you haven't got yourself on that list, then I'll leave a link in the description box below. 
And then as soon as we have any news on subscriptions opening, we'll send you an email. And then sorry, my camera just cut out because the memory is nearly full on this card. So I better make this quick. Um, another thing I want to mention, which I should have probably mentioned at the start, but hooray for 800,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? Um, I can't quite believe that we've reached this point. Thank you so much if you have been subscribed to this channel recently or for a long, long time. Honestly, your support means so much. And I will, I promise, try and put together a, a huge giveaway because I missed it for 700,000 subscribers and 800 just came around so quickly. So I'll put some kind of giveaway together for you. So keep your eye out for that. Because of what I've mentioned in this video, there might be a couple of weeks where there's no videos. It all depends on how the move falls and if I've been able to get prepared enough in advance. Um, but yeah, just bear with me. I will keep you up to date with how things are going with that. But thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video with your friends because the more, the merrier. And I shall see you again soon. Bye guys. Ra ra raffia. Mm 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 mm. Ga ga ooh la la. <laughs>